Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. So, so, damn, you left with no probation. So, was it any other cases between that one and then the the murder? No, no, it wasn't. So, up until that time, what 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 is Prezi doing at HP? You working? You not working? I had started hustling? working. I was kind of like trying to figure myself out. Mm -hmm. Kind of like broke. Yeah. Trying to figure it out. Like, man, I need to like have some type of. So I start working, doing construction. Okay. Like right before, like I start rapping, I was doing construction, just working. You know, providing, feeling good. You know, yeah, I was working. Yeah. And the construction, you know, they make good you money. Get some so money, yeah. I was Especially about 15, 1500 every week. Yeah. So it was cool. Yeah. So it was cool. So, so like, in the in the process, is your partner still getting nabbed? I know all of it through there. The feds was around there around that time. Was oh, that it was shit going on? It's always with something going on. Like, it was always something going on. And, and you in the hood the whole I'm time? I'm in the hood the whole time. Damn, that's crazy. Time. That's crazy. Bro. I was getting hit, every, like, everything, like, I'm in the hood the whole time. The whole time. So, like, even when the hood get hot, you not a nigga that can cut. You there. I'm there. So you going in the house, but you in the hood. Here, in the hood. Damn, man, you really, you really rolled that shit out. Like, rolled it out. Yeah, that's crazy, man. So, like, that, that's why, you know, they had something when they called you that, man. The name is befitting, you know what I'm saying? Because you didn't leave your people. I was the only one, like, out of all my day one partners that I grew up with who still live there. Like, Damn, that's crazy. Out of everybody. What's, what's your white partner's name? My white partner? Don't you got a white partner that is from up there? Is it a white dude from up there? Nah. Oh, I thought I seen a white dude uh, with y'all on something before, and I was like, I wonder how he got in there. You know what I'm saying? I see. Probably light skin. Yeah. <laughs> so, now, uh, as much as you can, like, you know what I'm saying? Explain how this shit happened when you do catch the murder case. Like, you know what I'm saying? Without, you know, without talking too much or saying too uh, much. Just, man, just being a stand-up dude. Yeah. Um, I say, like, just... Just the environment that you in, like man, some always bound to For sure. transpire. So you gotta be aware of your surroundings, no matter where you go. You always gotta like, you know what I'm saying, pay attention to everything that's going on. And that basically just like you know, just everybody always be like, you know, that you just gotta be ready for whatever, like yeah. yeah. And it don't even be like you don't even gotta be looking for trouble or nothing, like nah, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying you just gotta be. Prepared. And this is me. Just being where I'm from, growing where I come from. Just always being prepared. Just to, you know. You you like? Did it ever get to a point? Because everybody get in so much trouble. Well, I won't say everybody, but a lot of people get to a point where they get in so in so much trouble off something so little. You be like, have you ever questioned like why me? Like why the fuck this happened? No, to me? for sure. That whole like most of the time, you know, I didn't, I didn't, cry, I cried. A f like one night, the uh, whole little bit, like just me being in there. Yeah. Just thinking about my daughter and everything. Like, yeah. Man, I might not get up out this thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, just thinking, like, just really thinking, like, what the, like, why the, like, you know Do man? you think, because I know this too, I be trying to, you know, we all from the hood, so we know some fucked up niggas, right? For you know sure. Some niggas that think fucked up. For sure. They, act, they scan us all For the time. Sure. So, you know, in my mind, I be thinking, like, okay. When shit like that happened, like, you know, I know I'm a, I know I'm a good dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, and if this was just all the way me being a fucked up person, I could just be like, fuck it. I know what I, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes shit, like you said, fall in your lap. It fall in your lap, but at the same time, like I say that to say, <clears throat> the day before I went to jail, um, the, the, the police had called my phone, and I knew it was the police was a number I never seen before. Okay. And I'm already paranoid. I'm already on tip of every my whole surroundings. Right, I'm already right. feeling like you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, a number called my phone. Like, hey, hello, is this Janet? I never get it. Like, is this Janet? I'm like Janet. I answer the phone. Like, hello, who am I Yeah, yeah. They're like, is this Janet? Like, no, no, Janet here. They're like, you sure this is four one five? Then they say oh, my number, and I hung God. up the phone. I cut my phone off. Right. So I was going to meet my big big homie at the time. Right. Um, I'm like, man, I think the police just called my phone, bro. They finna come grab me. He, and then he did just like this. He said, that's what we signed up for, bro. 
And I look yeah. at him, I'm like, okay, like, and it and it, 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 it didn't make me really feel too much better, but I had to, it made me understand, like, you know what? Like, oh, I just gotta do what I gotta do. Like, it's cool. He know as the big homie you he had. He just did 12 years at he, this time. And he know you had all the training you need. He just did 12 years. He know. So he, he was so nonchalant. He made me feel a little better. Right. Like, as weird as it sound. Right. And he, he shrugged his shoulder like, shit, bro, you know what come with this shit. Um, you know what I mean? So he, that one little two words, three words, it prepared me to go to jail. So I'm like, all right, you're right. So when I went to jail, it was kind of like, they hit the house at four in the morning. It was kind of like I was prepared. Like, yeah, all right. yeah. And so <clears throat> now I knew about your case before I even knew about you. Yeah. Like the paper, just the, story, no, they blew the way it, up. it was wrote up. They blew it the up. The story, just they everything it about it. And I was like, damn, this is crazy. And then my partner put me up on the on you rapping. He was like, no, he, this nigga is not, he real. Cause he know a lot of Frisco motherfuckers. So he like, no, this nigga is the truth, right? For sure. So I'm like, but he like, I ain't know he was a rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he like, I know this nigga rap, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I, I was like, man, uh, play that shit for me. And then I heard it. So now I'm like, but before that, so going to, to, to um, to jail for the murder because you got out not long after you got arrested. Yeah, so when we had went to jail, in my whole mind, I'm like, they gonna have to. I'm not taking no deal for this case. They gonna either blame me, they gonna let me out this month. Right, right. So my Cody at the time, my big brother, he like, um, bro, they come like, nah, we gonna jump on it. I right. said, no, we ain't. Right. So you can jump you on it. You gonna jump on it? Yeah. Nine. I think my daughter three right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going for that. Right. They gonna have to blame, which may sound dumb in some people's eyes, but I feel like, man, I don't. I know what you mean. It is what it is. Like, right. you know, right. like they either gonna let us out or they gonna, you feel me? Yeah. And the whole time we down the. Homicide detectives, they talk, they, they watch them. They like, man, y'all show that smile for some dudes who want to jail for murder. Yeah. They like, man, yeah, y'all be fighting this for some years before y'all figure it out. So my mind, I'm like, man, we finna push. Right. I'm not finna I see how they make people sit, and I'm not finna sit in no county for right. four or five years. And, right. So I tell my lawyer, like, look, get me up out of here. Like, I don't want to, we not waving no time. We now, now to, this is a public defender. Public defender at the time. This is so, the one who helped me beat my... Who helped me with the pistol case? Pistol case. She but came. When, when she you, wasn't even my lawyer. Oh, she she seen your she file. She came and somebody, my so my like I told you my bro just got found guilty. Yeah. She heard I went to jail and emailed her like, hey, you know Woody Woobies. Right. Right. She came and see me and like, hey, you got a legal. So I ain't got a lawyer at this time. I'm thinking it's the police trying to highlight me. So I come peeking the room like, uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. It's her. She like, what's happening? I'm like, what's up? She like, man, listen, don't talk to nobody. Don't say nothing to nobody. I got you. I'm gonna go get you the best. Woody, 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 woody. Shut up. I'm like, all right. I, just like that. She yeah. came back. When I went to court, she was there. Like, listen, I got you. I had to pull some strings. I, we got you. Don't talk to nobody. That's her whole thing. Don't say nothing. I don't care. Your best friend, your cousin, yeah, no your mama. Right. Don't right. talk to nobody. Don't say nothing on the phone. Shut up. Right. Chill out. We finna get you up out of here. Right. So I'm all the time waiting. But her thing is, I love her to death because she just like, she say whatever's in her mind. She's one of those. She was telling. I'm, I'm sitting there nice and with her about everything. Young? She, she. Is she old? I don't know. I ain't going to put no age on her, but she ain't too old. She probably yeah. like 40. But old before a lawyer that's young because yeah. she had to go to school for yeah. that long. So, yeah. you know, she bought me the best dude I had. So the, the lawyer I had is actually the hit, the highest public defender. He just took over for that Jeff Dodson when Jeff Dodson passed. Damn. So my, the lawyer I had, he, was, he the best. Like, I mean, What's her name? Her name is Cindy Elias. Man, shout out to her, man. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm girl. sure she did that for you. She didn't say plenty of other brothers, no, man. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her for that, man, because that shit, we be needing that shit. Man, you know what and I'm she saying? didn't we, have to do none of that what she did for me. Man, you know, and this niggas in there probably spending 700000 yes. on something and can't get out. Yes, and yeah. they was looking at me like, you from the wrong? I'm like, man, I trust, I trust this like in my life. Yeah, yeah, just, be like that. It was that. too genuine. It was genuine, so it was like, my bro and I'm like, bro, you want to get you a lawyer? I'm like, nah, it's good. Just bro got him a lawyer. Yeah. He ain't got a lawyer. They're like, you want one? I'm like, nah, I'm rocking out with her. It's I even more her. genuine when she ain't getting the money somebody else getting and she going this exactly. hard. Like, she was going hard. Like she was I was getting so many legal visits. My partners so I was in jail were like, bro, why you keep this on these legal blood? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, nigga, she loved me for real. That's like it was crazy. she was she had just get me a legal just to get me out of that environment. Yeah. Like, yeah, hey, how you doing? Man, you cool? Man, like, yeah, I'm so, good. Yeah. Like you show? Like, all right, some well, some days I'll be here with it, some days I'll be low with it. She yeah. just 
keep my spirits up. Like, don't trip. Like, you know, we're going to, it's not a, for sure that you finna get out, but I'm going to do everything I can to make sure you get up out of here. That's dope as fuck, too. And if you ever get the opportunity to speak on prison reform, like, that's that's a good part of it. Like, for sure. don't be just sending motherfuckers in there who worse than the DA. For sure. They sending motherfuckers in there to try to watch I done, I done seen people lawyers, like, with the shadiest. I done seen it. Like, what kind of scumbag person you gotta be to just know you finna send a nigga? Like, you know, I he might not it. even did nothing. Like, I seen this. I'm talking about my celly had a. He went to. My celly was in jail for 10 days and went to prelim. His lawyer didn't know nothing about the case. He just went to prelim. And, I, I thought a case that. with my partner one time. I remember the lawyer said. That nigga said, yeah, you might as well plead guilty today. I'm like, nigga, Never. it's been a couple hours. We ain't doing like, that. <laughs> nigga, what you talking about? So. In the, in the process of uh, getting out, how long was it before you went to the studio? Like I said, we had our own studio at the time. So I was like, that was our hangout spot. You was there anyway? I was there, but I just wasn't rapping. And um, shout out my big brother. Uh, it's just, it just kind of like, well, I, what I can say though, shout out to Huggy. I don't know if you know who Huggy is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He been trying to give me a rap since before, Never. like, Huggy been trying to get me to rap. Like, I'm talking about, he's, him and my sister is tight. Yeah. He used to be telling my sister, like, your brother got the look. Tell him to be a rapper. Tell right. him to be a rapper. Right. I never wanted to. That's crazy. So Huggy will all, but every, he'll always be on that with me. He's every seen time. He's seen, I don't know, he's seen it. That's he's tight. seen it. He's seen it. And I, and I honestly, been this way before I even, he's seen it. So I ended up just starting rapping, and he was there with me the whole first little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he, like like he, like he so, because I see, like it's like uh, now you, your partner had the beat though already. And my brother. Yeah. Oh, your brother. My brother. And y'all was just listening to it. We just listened to the beat over and over, and my brother just orchestrated the whole thing. Like now, my brother, tell me about John John though. John John. Because who who wrote the lyrics? Well, I say like we in the studio and we everybody just like you know we John John was. When we brought it to John John's attention, we told him, go in there and do this. He tried to go in there and do it his own way. So okay. we had to, like, now nah, you're doing it wrong. Like, do it like this. Yeah. Did he went in there real singing? Like, yeah, too much He was a singer. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. He, he, he was just, he wasn't used to the studio either. Okay, so every, okay. everybody knew. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm John John was fresh. You know what I'm saying? He was like, he was one of them partners, like, he was like a day one. He grew up in Harvard, but he wasn't always running. Like, you know, okay. he was, he'd come back and, you yeah. know, me and his little brother is tight, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But he and John John just pop up in and out. Okay. So, we just kind of, like, orchestrated it from there. And then once we got the hook, I didn't put no verse on it for a minute. Okay. And it just kind of, like... Oh, so you got the hook. You we got the hook. We did the hook. Everybody leave. No, I didn't put a verse on it yet. We just listened to the hook over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Okay. I just rapped about, like, life situations on there, like...